that was easy. This, by the way, left hand thread, so it's backwards. Uh, that pops out up at the top just by pushing everything down. There's one screw there, whole thing slides out. Oh yeah, and pull the knob off first so you don't break it. There we go. I'm freehanding the stencil and cutting of all these things so that they're all different and hopefully we don't get any overlapping and compounding waves to make this a little quieter and spread out the frequencies and make the tone less obnoxious. We've got our leading edge serrations there. We've got our trailing serrations like little feathers. So hopefully it does something. All right, we've got our owl tech stuck on there. We've got our trailing edge feathers. We've got our leading edge serrations. We've got our sound dampening material slash vibration dampening. So hopefully it's quieter. Stock fan. Control. Feather tech time. Yeah. quieter and less obnoxious not by much but at least a little after watching the videos multiple times as far as I can tell the stock fan at high speed came in around 77 decibels but the owl fan came in at about 75 and a half then at medium speed we had 73 for the stock fan 72 and a half for the owl fan and at low speed they were both 67 but the interesting thing where the most difference happened was in the average maximum hertz the stock fan was about 370 and the owl fan was about 300 so much lower and less obnoxious sound and medium was about 350 compared to about 200 and the low speed was about 300 compared to about 220 well there you have it kids based on this experiment owl feather tech seems to work <laughs>